to ICD DRB. I was a young woman uh, with two children, the third not born yet, when I got a postdoctoral, not even a postdoctoral position. I, uh, Dr. Ivan Sizna met me in a review where I criticized him very badly for his protocol. I was invited as an external, external review. And then he came out of the room after that and he said, I didn't know a person like you existed in Bangladesh. Can we meet? And then uh, he invited me to work in the lab. But then, uh, and then over the summer, I worked, but I was still not, I was still working in the university. And then I had my third baby. When he came back from the summer holidays, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell him that I was expecting a baby because I thought I would be stopped from coming to the lab. In those days, it was, by safety was not such an issue. And although I was working with bacteria. So when he came back, he said, where is Dr. Kathri? And they said, uh, she had a baby. And he said, where was she hiding it? And then when I did come to meet him, I said, you will never take me back in your lab again. He said, no, on the other hand, I will take you because uh, you have courage. And so that's how I stayed at ICDDRB. And over the years, I made so many friends. I jo joined as a postdoc. When he left, he handed me the lab. And I joined as an associate scientist. And I made many friends over here. Actually, I think it's a collegial feeling at ICDDRB that uh, I liked IC university also. My, I have students from universities always with me. Uh, left and right, they're all with me. But I think the most important part is what I like at ICDDRB is the atmosphere. Of, uh, it's such a, I tell everyone, once the car moves into ICDDRB, I forget everything that's happening outside. Uh, because it's the environment of science, of, you know, when I go into the lift, I see everyone so serious in the morning. And I say, that's the only place, I think, in the country where people come so seriously to work. They all have a purpose. They all know what they're going to do. Young and old and small, no matter what job they're doing. So, but I must remember to thank, uh, uh, I think I've got different awards. Allah has been very, 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 very kind to me. People do work so hard everywhere. They don't get awarded like I have been. I don't know what I've done in my life or what I've, my elders prayed for me that I have done this. I've got so. But, uh, uh, you would, for me, the Independence Award was something I thought I would never get. Because something to the government, political and all that, so never, never expected to get it. So when uh, the Bangladesh Academy of Science, uh, this was the only award that I submitted for getting an award. Of all the others, I haven't submitted. And so when they asked me that she, uh, the secretary, Dr. Hasina, Professor Hasina called me and said, Appa, can you put in your application? So naturally, I looked at my colleagues uh, around here, Dr. Taufik, my office manager, Mr. Salaudi, and my communication uh, unit lead, uh, Tarif, and Mr. Sharif, our government relation. I, d I, I said, how am I going to do this? And there were pages and lots of volumes of things to give and many, many things. And so many copies had to be signed and by the secretary and everything was done by this, by people who helped me. So when I got a phone call from, uh, one day I was working and usually when I get phone calls with unknown numbers, I don't receive it, I said, I gave it to Farhana. I said, Farhana, there's this number, just see. And so that then she could get rid of it. And she said, Apa, Apa, this is from the Shadi Jata Padak office. See, she's saying something about that. And she gave me this one. This was baby Parveen saying that um, you, have, you have been given the award and uh, you... Uh, I said, no, you must be joking. She said, no, I'm serious. And then what we did is Fahima, Farhana, all my, you know, all these people who are around me, my colleagues, my young colleagues and all my colleagues, we ran to Dr. Tami's office. So we must tell him. And we just went into his office. He was scared with me, with my, so many people, he thought we'd come in with a complaint or something, some protest. He said, what happened? I said, no, no. I got a phone call saying that I've got the Shadi Nata Padak. And he said, oh, yes, yes. I said, but I'm not even sure. So when I call back that number, no reply. I said, this must be a hoax. I said, I'm sorry if it's a hoax. And he came out and told some more colleagues around that, see, Appa's got the word. I said, 
I mean, we have to be careful because it can be a hoax. I mean, that woman is not receiving the phone. So this, then I realized later on that they don't usually receive calls from the government like this. So in the, by the evening, I got a call saying that, yes, it's on the web and everything, and everybody started. And Malia just came to the house with her kids and her husband and shouting that, Papa, you've got the phone. So I mean, the thing is that I, am, I love Bangladesh. So right now, I think I'm the only family member in my family, in my own family that's living in Bangladesh. My husband sadly passed away before he could hear about the next size day. Or the Shadi Natapadu. He was my great friend and also critic. Very good, bad critic, actually. <laughs> and uh, he passed away both times when I was getting more and more bigger awards. And, but uh, I still love Bangladesh so much. My children are away. I tell them, never, never will I go. And even if I'm ill, don't take me away from my Bangladesh. And I hope that I can always be here at ICDTRP. Not always at ICDTRP, I'm sure. But at least I can be in Bangladesh on this soil always. And I tell them, never take me on a plane, whether I'm you know, unconscious or conscious, to any other country for treatment or for anything else. But, uh, so I must also thank someone very great, the Prime Minister. Um, I'm not an active political figure. I, am, I, I, I don't understand many things, uh, especially politics. I'm a pure, boring scientist. But I love my Prime Minister and my country. I have followed her and I love my uh, father of the nation. Uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, our great leader. And every time, I was in Tungipara yesterday, and every time I see him at 55 years of age, what he did. And we calculated yesterday, he only had 13 or 14 years outside the jail and outside um, uh, all these difficult commotions to do things that he did for Bangladesh. Nobody else could have done it. And our Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, I think of her as another woman, but also as the greatest leader. She makes big decisions, and I'm not anywhere near her, but I always say, I put my big foot forward and then think about all the problems, like the OCV. We will do a feasibility study, do it all over Bangladesh. Also like Aideshi, I said, I got so much in my life, all of you know that I have, uh, this Aideshi is for y'all. It's been in Bangladesh from, 12, uh, 10, eight years now, when I put you know, all the money that I get, any money, I give it to Aideshi to make it into another organization that can help the country, that can make more scientists grow, some more. But ICDTRD, I think, is something so close to my heart. And our prime minister, she held me when she gave me the prize. And I told her uh, when she was, afterwards, after the prize giving, she said, uh, I told her, Up, I don't, I think I've got everything in my life. But she held me and said, you have a lot to do. It's not finished. And I think with that I said that really what she said is beyond what I can do. But till my last breath, I will do what I can for this country and in my field of work. So, so the only thing that has happened is that my responsibilities have increased. I have become a role model, a bigger role model. Please forgive me if I'm not a role model for everyone, but I try to be. I remember my responsibilities, what God has given me, what the country has given me, what ICDDIB has given me, is something that I will uh, cherish always. And I think I don't know how I got everything. I still marvel. People do so much in for, the, for research, but I got far more than what I've given. But over here, my three children are not here. My husband's passed away. But I've invited my sister-in-laws and my sister. My, none of my family is here, as I said, except my very bedridden mother. So I have with, here with me Dolly, Majibi, Nazri, um, uh, Dina has not come, and Rakidi. So I call them to enjoy to see what I've done for 40 years, to be to know what ICDDRB. They know that Bhabi is so busy. She's at ICDDRB from the morning till night. They send me a call I don't receive, and then I say, I will call you later. So they have 
be born this and they have respected me and loved me and so i think uh, again my collaborators i didn't expect ed nick yon and alejandro or anyone to say such sweet words such kind words i'm think i i'm just i don't think uh, what i don't know what i'll do whether i'll survive after this uh i think um, i have said everything that i need to say i am so thankful to allah so thankful to you all and forgive me if i have not been good to everyone or not nice to everyone but remember that none that nothing done intentionally and i love you all everybody thank you so much